Hey guys, this is Karthikeya Kanthwal from Apex Finsov and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. Now today was a big great trading day and um, to be honest, once again, uh, well, call it bragging, but our charts are working on the indices. So uh, we were able to book around 300, 320 odd points on Bank Nifty. And uh, if you are, um, if you are actually good at reading charts, if you can use our charts with, uh, um, you know, combining it with your own charts, then uh, you would have been able to book around 75 to 80 points very easily on Nifty as well. But all things considered, it was a good green trading session and I hope the same goes for you as well. Starting with what's new for tomorrow, the first one on the equity side that we have is the NetCL deck where we are going to go for the, uh, you know, you can call it a counter trend trade because the market is going down but we are going for a long position here. Simply going by the chart, it has making a small higher high higher low formation. So we are going to take a conservative long entry near the previous swing point, 810, also a good demand zone. Stop loss at 800, ideal targets 1% on the upside. The second is Torrent Pharma, where we are going to go for a short, siding ourselves with the market. Simple short entry at the previous resistance turn support and the previous swing point at 2615. Stop loss at 2645, ideal targets 1% on the downside. Third one being MM Fin, or not MM Fin, rather just MM Mahindra, where we are going to go for a short, not short, rather long position. Uh, one reason is because, you know, even despite the big sell off, it seems uh, to have uh, held its ground. It didn't really, you know, break down in the pressure. So we're going to go for a long at the nearest uh, zone that we have and also the previous swing point at 710. Stop loss at 700. Ideal targets 1% on the upside. The fourth is TVS Motors. Now, TVS Motors, may, there's been a writing mistake from my side on the notes. It's actually a buy at 470, not at 475. And, uh, you know, respectively, stop loss goes in at 465 and not 470. So, mistake from my side, I'm sorry for that. But uh, the reason for the trade is, well, it's a really good demand zone and it has been acting out, you know, like four times in a row now. So, we expect it to act again. So, it's a long at 470, stop loss at 465, ideal targets 1% on the upside. The final is ICICI Bank, where we are going to go for a slightly aggressive short position, keeping in mind the fall that Bank Nifty had today. If that momentum is carried on tomorrow after a flat opening, we should see this trigger anytime. Another reason being, it, it's a demand zone turn supply now. It has been broken quite strongly and the price has closed under that level. So we're going to go for a short at 476, stop loss at 481, ideal targets 1% on the downside. Coming to the indices, which you know I guess most of you guys are interested in since it's the expiry. Starting with the first one, Nifty. Now, Nifty is uh, actually in a range right now. I would uh, prefer to say, you know, from 12 850 all the way till 12 uh, 920. It's a 70 point range. It's my, to be very honest, the RR is not justifiable, at least for me. So, I would suggest trade on Nifty only outside of these zones. The trades that you take are going to be forced trades. And if you want a short trade, then if you have a red opening or a flat opening, and on a pullback, you can take good short entries near 12.840, 12.850 because you have a 70 point stop loss and a 100 point target at the first. So the RR is uh, it's quite lucrative there. Talking about the option chain, you have resistance very strong at 12.900 with 1.9 million added contracts. Significant at 13,000 obviously with 2 million added contracts. On the support side, however, there has been massive puts unwinding everywhere. So the supports have been weakened quite a bit. But still, uh, standing open interest is hefty at 12,800 immediate support with 4.1 million standing contracts. Significant at 12,700 with 2.9 million standing contracts. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. It does uh, seem to be poised as a bearish expiry. Can also be range bound, but uh, as of now, I don't think it's bullish. The PCR comes out to be at uh, pretty bearish again, 1.02. Yesterday it was 1.04, and we saw the effect of it today where the market just cracked. Tomorrow, I guess. Uh, we might see 11, 12, uh, 750 today. Just a hunch. Let's see how it goes. On the bank nifty side of things, if you remember uh, the day before yesterday on 23rd, I told you to take uh, trades on break of this range from about 29,000 to 29,400, 400 point range on bank nifty. Within that range, the trades are not really that nice. Outside of that range, we had a good breakout and then, you know, it pulled straight away 600 points. Now, today it has reclaimed that range. So I have the same opinion for tomorrow, keep inside of this range, don't really trade. If you want, go for a shot uh, at the upper zone of that range, which is at 29,500 if the opening is green. With the target being, you know, 29,000, the range, see a bottom part. But uh, again, to be honest, 
रेंज के अंदर आई वुड प्रिफर इट इफ यू एज डू नॉट ट्रेड ट्रेड आउट साइड ऑफ दैट रेंज दैट शुड गिव यू बेटर ट्रेडिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज कमिंग टू दी ऑप्शन चेन वी हैव रजिस्टेंस एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थ्री हंड्रेड विद वन सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एडेड सिग्निफिकेंट एट ट्वेंटी नाइन फाइव हंड्रेड विद टू On the support side, you have immediate at twenty nine thousand, with total standing nine hundred and ninety thousand um, contracts, and significant at twenty eight five hundred with seven zero five, uh, not seven zero five, but seven hundred and five thousand uh, standing contracts. So even on Bank Nifty, there have been a lot of uh, put unwinding, you might say, in the technical term. So the supports have been weakened by quite a hefty amount. And even the PCR comes out to be at point nine one. so that's uh, also pretty bearish not uh, aggressively bearish but pretty bearish so let's see how it goes tomorrow tomorrow is the expiry so trade cautiously guys uh, you know reduce your risk if you can take smart trades don't uh, take all the trades that you get as soon as you get them be careful whatever you're taking and take your risk according to your risk appetite that's all i hope you have a really good trading session tomorrow this marks the end of this video guys of course as usual if you have watched the entire video don't forget to like share subscribe comment something nice and press that bell notification icon as well thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a wonderful trading session tomorrow and a wonderful good night sleep as well bye